Nice throw. It's really important you know some basic rescue techniques. The most important rescue technique to have, however, is rescuing yourself. When you are on the river, ultimately you're responsible for all of your own actions and anything that can happen to you. Ideally, you don't have to be in a rescue situation. Ideally, you can make it from the put-in to the takeout, right side up whenever you want, or if you tip over, you can roll back up, catch an eddy, and be on your way. If you find yourself upside down and unable to roll, nobody there to help you, go ahead and pop your skirt, jump out of the boat, and hopefully you've already boat scouted or you've um, scouted from the shore so you know what's downstream. You should have an idea which side of the river you're on and where the closest eddies are. If not, you probably didn't take the time to look at the rapid in advance. So we're going to assume that you at least know which side of the river to go to. So once you find yourself in the water, go ahead and grab a hold of your boat, grab a hold of your paddle in one hand. I recommend grabbing through the grab loop or in the cockpit room. Grab it with one hand, use the other hand for swimming. The best stroke to use when you're swimming your equipment to shore is the side stroke. It allows you to kick and use your hands and keep your head above the water all while keeping your body near the surface. Now when do you let go of your equipment? You let go of your equipment when you're obviously close to an eddy and you really want to get catch that eddy but it looks like your boat is pulling you out of the eddy. If you think that you're going to go into another rapid by holding on to your boat, let go of your gear and swim it to shore. I recommend first letting go of your boat. You can usually swim pretty well with your paddle, but if you're still not making it and you need to get to shore quicker, let go of your paddle and go. Ultimately, we can collect that later. Since you're boating in a group, if you find yourself in the water and there's people around to help you, Often you can grab on the back of somebody's boat if they ask you to. In other words, if your boating partner is strong enough and confident enough to give you a stern, the way to do that is to climb up over on the back of their boat, holding on to, their, to the back of their cockpit rim if they've got a smaller boat, or just holding on to their grab loop if they've got a bigger boat. Of course, you need to help swim and kick as hard as you can because it's a lot harder to pull a swimmer than you think. Now, if you're not the one in the water and you've got a friend in the water, somebody in your group is in the water, What's the best thing you can do? Well, the first thing you're going to notice if, if you've swum before is that you don't know where you are right away. You're, you come out of the water, your head pops to the surface, you're getting splashed with waves. It's really easy just to sit there and not know what to do. So the best thing you can do for somebody that's swimming is yell at them and say, hey, 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 get their attention that way and point to the shore, point to the closest eddy that they should be going for. That, um, that audio gives them a clue of where they are, that they see you, and then pointing them to shore gives them an immediate purpose of what they should be doing. That's the fastest way to get somebody who's swimming moving in the right direction. You can also coach them along. If they're at the top of a rapid and you're worried that they're going to end up in the rapid, tell them, let go of your boat, let go of your paddle, swim for it, and then again, point them in the right direction. However, if they're almost at the bottom of the rapid and there's a pool down below and you're not going to get them into an eddy anyway, say, hey, hold on to your stuff, hold on to your stuff, keep moving right, keep moving right. When you get into the pool, you can say, okay, I got your stuff from here. That's where you can grab their boat, empty it out, send it in the shore.